Welcome back to The Blend. You know, about one and a half million Americans suffer from a heart condition called aortic stenosis. It's a progressive disease that can destroy your health. For example, simple everyday activities like walking or climbing stairs will be difficult. Luckily, there's a solution right here in Southern Nevada for this. Dr. Herb Cordero and Howard Broder are part of the Cardiovascular Consultants of Nevada Healthcare Partners Cardiology. They join us this morning about a procedure that will get you back on your feet in no time. Gentlemen, hello, how are you? Morning. Morning. All right, so let's learn a little bit more about this. Uh, Dr. Cordero, let's talk about the procedure and, and who it helps. It helps patients that have the disease you described, aortic stenosis, which is a narrowing in a valve that will cause three main symptoms. When those patients experience them, then have options for valve replacement mm -hmm. or using the new procedure with the catheter to avoid surgery. Absolutely. So what are those symptoms that we should be looking three at? Three main symptoms, chest pain, passing out, or heart failure. Okay. Shortness and of breath. Whenever we have something, any of those things happen, should we be contacting our doctor right away or just pass it along and say, oh, maybe it'll happen next time? Yeah, like right away yesterday. Call them right away. Gotcha, gotcha. Now let's talk about, uh, without getting technical, of course, this is called the TAVR procedure? Correct. So this is a transcatheter valve replacement. The way surgeons normally replace the valve, and it's still done for most of the patients here in, um, in Las Vegas and around the world, is a surgical valve replacement where they cut the sternum open and then replace the valve. Our new procedure, the transcatheter valve replacement, we only have a small incision in the groin. We take a catheter up through the uh, main aorta and we replace the valve using a balloon and a stent. Technology has really come a long way, hasn't it? It really has. So uh, why, why are we just seeing this now? Because it seems like a, an incredible alternative to open heart surgery. Sure, I think this is the wave of the future. Yeah. Now, this procedure has only been around since 2002. Wow. It's been approved in Europe since 2007. Europe has a little bit of a different approval process that we do here, and so the FDA has kind of it usually wanted us it to... It gets approved here last, it seems right. like. It takes yeah. a little longer. And so yeah. it was approved here, um, I believe, last November. We've started doing it here in Nevada since, uh, since about May. And we're one, of the, we're one of the only centers in Nevada doing it, mm -hmm. and really on the whole West Coast. How is this procedure different than the other cardiac procedures that, that treat some of these things? So like I mentioned, you know, valve replacement is typically done through surgery where yeah. you have to open the chest, and this is only a very small incision. It's a massive scar. Right, you know? so yes. hospital stays tend to be less, and we're able to do these on people who are much too sick to have a regular open heart surgery. No question. Uh, so it really gives a lot of... Um, new exciting options for patients who otherwise could not be treated. Well, what's, what's the typical recovery time for something like this? Well, we keep patients in the hospital about three days. Wow. But in Europe, some patients are going home in a day or two, so... Let's compare that to a, a, a regular open heart surgery. How long would people be in the hospital? Usually four, four to five days. Okay, so it's a, but there is a lot, the, the recovery time is a lot shorter. But most of our patients go home. Mm -hmm. uh, most patients after surgery go to rehab. So. One of the keys is trying to stop people from getting into a cardiac issue in the first place. Is there anything we should be doing to either stay in car good cardiac health or after we get this procedure to maintain what, what, what you've given us? Well, this disease is more of a degeneration, mm -hmm. aging of the body. It's not more of uh, the other things that we do to cause blockage of the heart mm -hmm. so it's, uh, in terms of the arteries. So it's yeah. a different kind of disease. Mm -hmm. All right, so the, 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 are there any tips for, for people that are watching today? Yeah, but once you get your valve replaced, or if you have this disease, just do normal cardiovascular routines to yeah. keep healthy, ex exercise, and eat right. Yeah, and the things that we always recommend to our patients are, one, pay attention to how you feel. Mm -hmm. If you start to feel more tired than usual, if you start to have chest discomfort, if you start to have a lot of heartburn or atypical kind of symptoms that you're just not sure what's going on, please let us know, and we'll be able to help sort things out for you. Other things are really common sense, right? Watch what you eat. Exactly. Okay, no fried foods, reduce the red meat and exercise. A lot of these things we mm -hmm. already know. Um, it's just a matter of actually doing it. So we always try to, you know, encourage our patients and our friends to live a healthier lifestyle so that they don't need to come and see us. So if we fe feel any of these symptoms, we have to get in touch with you. Where are your offices located and how do we do so? We have uh, three main offices, mm -hmm. uh, but you can contact us through email. Mm -hmm. Also, so our main number. Mm -hmm. And we have those on the screen right mm -hmm. now. Awesome. And you guys are doing great work in the Valley, honestly. Thank you so much. And you're, you're giving you. people a heart. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing stuff. I, well, it's the wave of the future, so we're glad we're doing it here in Las Vegas. Absolutely. We're glad that you're here doing it. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much, Dr. Cordero and Dr. Broder's offices, they're all located on Siena Heights Drive in Henderson. You can reach them at the number on your screen. To learn more about cardiovascular consultants of Nevada Healthcare Partners Cardiology, you can check out the website right there on your screen. They're also on Facebook and Twitter. All right.